News Channel 5 Network and Out and About Newspaper. This is Out and About Today. Welcome to Out and About Today. I'm Brent Meredith. On tonight's show, Pam Wheeler sits down with the executive director of the National Center for Lesbian Rights to hear about the organization is fighting for equality. And later, Chuck Long has your first look at this year's Nashville Film Festival in the Entertainment Outlook. So now that I've teased you with what's ahead, let's get started with this week's Buzz About. I'm joined by my wonderful co-hosts, Chuck and Pam, and our usual guest, Out and About Nashville editor, Joseph Brunel. Welcome, guys. Thanks for being here. All right. Are we ready for some opinions? Heck yeah. Always. Heck yeah. Okay. All right. Well, first up to bat, we can't skip over this. We have to talk about this again today. Marriage quality update. We've got a current map, if I'm, if I'm not uh, mistaken, uh, that we're going to throw up here. Um, and last month, March, was a bit of a milestone for Tennessee and a few other states. Um, and this mo month proves to be a little bit more of the same. So we've got that current map up right now. So looking at that, what do we have? Some of the statistics on there. 42% of the LGBT population is living in a state with marriage equality for same-sex couples. 13% um, live in a state uh, with comprehensive civil union or domestic partner laws. And only 2% of our population lives in a state where out-of-state marriages are recognized, but same-sex couples may not marry. And then we have another 42% living in states with no legal recognition for same-sex couples. What do you guys think about the fact that we have a 42 versus 42? It's kind of an and interesting And of course, we're in the bad 42. Well, we are, of course. <laughs> we, are, we won't always be exactly. on. We won't. Exactly. Uh, Abby Rubenfeld was yes. on last month and exactly. talked about her timeline. She thought two years for marriage equality mm -hmm. right here. As okay. Brent said in the next segment, Kate Kendall, who's the executive director of the NCLR. I don't want to get that wrong because I really wasn't familiar with the organization. She'll be here to talk about the work they do yeah. in Tennessee. Yeah. I mean, it's encouraging. It really is. Well, Just I mean, we did have the small, of course, victory in Tennessee that we yeah. talked about, and the yes. uh, the ruling. And as someone who's worked on these maps since, you know, the Supreme Court decision, it's just nice to, have s to see the color evolution that <laughs> changed of course. since July, of just July of last year. Right. Well, I by mean, the time this airs, it, it could change again. I mean, yes. it, uh, that's kind of a positive Every, in my every mind. day, this map can change. <laughs> exactly. And that's a good thing. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, so, uh, as you said, uh, roughly two years is what Ab was Abby's prediction. What do you think is going to happen in those two years? How do you think we're going to arc there? Is it going to be forward and then back? Or are we going to inch, inch along? I mean, any thoughts? I think forward and back. Okay. I, I think, you know, two steps forward, one step back, though. That's a good thing rather than vice versa, which is what we have been doing. Well, and it, it's a process. The lawsuit that was filed was about three couples. That's uh, That was a strategy to because they thought um, those three couples would be empathized with because they were already married and had rights and moved here. Yeah. And so that was step one. And it's it's going to be a process. And, and I think it's important that we just keep our eyes on what's happening in Michigan, too, being the, you know, this. That's the, a valid point. Line. That's but a valid point. All right, three yeah. minutes left. We better jump ahead, because this next one is a, is, a, is a big local. Oh, wait, one oh, little oh, thing. Oh, congratulations, because you're engaged now, Joseph. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, I yeah. So this actually does, what's wrong with that? This us? makes Great. a big difference. It really, so. really applies to you. Yes, cool. it does. Thank you guys so no, much. No, no, you're welcome. Congratulations. Yeah, um well, to turn to turn to a less happy note, I suppose. Um, last month, the March issue, uh, or March last, marked the last month rather of Inside Out Nashville, formerly known as Xenogeny. And I think for a couple of us that have been around a while, we probably remember the last 20 years. Linda Welch, the publisher of that publication, has been on our show many times, uh, participated in these roundtables. What do we think? You know, it's a sad day uh, because it's closing a chapter, and Linda Welch has done a lot in this community. She spearheaded pride years ago she collaborated without and about for she many did. years i mean there's just it's sad but you know it is what happens when uh time passes other publications are in the market and Sometimes that means others uh, go away. But she was here for so many years before any of the others. She literally paved the way for That's Out About right. Nashville, right. Out yeah. About Newspaper, back to Out About Nashville, um, Unite Magazine. Right. Uh, there was uh, Church Street Freedom Press for a while. So, I mean, there's been several publications come and go, and she's lasted. So Right. And, and we had a, a previous Inside Out contributor, F. Daniel Kent, write a nice little... Uh, reflection on his time and what Inside Out has been to the community online. So yeah, he was a contributor to, 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 to that, to Out and About for years. I know, and you could call Linda and say, you know, can you cover this, I mean, you know, yeah, yeah. tomorrow, and she would do whatever she could to put your event information or whatever you had going on, fundraising in the paper. And if we could get week. everything in her head out somehow, that would be fantastic. <laughs> She's got the history of GLBT Nashville literally we need to saved in her brain. And we record do. it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's move on again. Another another ending of sorts. Uh, last month also marked the death um, of uh, Fred Phelps. Um, we've given him and his church a little bit of time on here in the past. I thought this was worth reflecting on and maybe seeing what is sort of the uh, the positive, if you could say that, or negative, um, or the two sides of this situation. You know, I, I just think it's interesting. Now that he's gone, though, um, so many people what they're saying is uh, what he did basically was he was so you know 
out to the left of, of where the right really was, which was so interesting, yeah. that he got a lot of people that literally banded together to stand up and say, you're not going to do this. You're not going to take us down. You're not going to protest. Or you, you can protest, but you're not going to stop us. So to me, he brought a lot of attention in a good way, which is not what he wanted to do. Well, exactly. And another yeah. positive yeah. aspect of his, of, his, of his life was the Supreme Court case that he won. Basically, free speech. I mean, yeah. you know, again, that's worthwhile. Uh, we're just about out of time, so I, I want to make sure we don't miss this. Uh, Joseph, the next issue of the paper will, is out now. Yes, you should definitely check it out. We've got the Music City Sisters um, plugging into the past, the future, and the present of what's going on with the Music City Sisters. You really should get to know this awesome organization that's happening in Nashville. Cool. Well, that's thanks so much. Cover. It, it is. And you're previewing the film festival as well. We are previewing yeah. the film yeah. festival, and there's a great Pride um, entertainment announcement in there as well. So. Is there an engagement picture in there, about you? There is no engagement <laughs> oh, picture. But Jennifer on. Nettles actually <laughs> called you up, and I love that. Yes, that's she great. did. It was uh, it was <laughs> surreal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, listen, that was that was a fast one tonight, but I appreciate your, your insights and your thoughts, guys. I'll see you later. Um, and when we, re when we return, rather, Pam is joined by the executive director of the National Center for Lesbian Rights. Stay with us.